to apply the definition of our central angles and arcs, let's have the following exercises. So we have A, solve for X. We have this illustration and the given. And for B, solve for X. And for letter C, this will be the illustration. Let's start with letter A. So let, let us recall the different principles that we are going to use. The arc, the minor arc, is equal to our central angle. So here, by vertical angle, this angle is equal to this angle. So that means negative 10x plus 5, that is equal to 45. So we're looking for the value for x. Now we have negative 10x is equal to 45. Positive 5, move to the right, that will become negative 5. Or addition property of equality. So negative 10x is equal to 45 minus 5, which is 4t. Then to find x, we need to divide by negative 10. Cancel. X is equal to 40 divided by negative 10. This will give us negative 4. Okay, so the value of X is negative 4. If you want to check, substitute the value of X. So negative 10 times negative 4. Negative times negative. That is positive. Positive 40 plus 5, which is equal to 45. So, in checking, our value for x is correct. Now, in letter B, solve for x. So, we have the following arcs. This arc measures 50 degrees. This one is 110 degrees. We have here the central angle, which is 95. The arc here measures also 95 degrees. And we have here the central angle, again, negative 10x. So this arc is equal to negative 10x also. And the last given, which is 55 degrees. So the principle here that we're going to use is all the given arcs in a circle all the arcs in our circle are given. We know that one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. So one revolution is equal to 360 degrees. That means if we're going to add the given arcs, that will be equal to 360 degrees. So negative 10x plus 95 plus 110 plus 50 plus 55 that is equal to 360 degrees okay one revolution is equal to 360 degrees now we have negative 10x so add the following numbers so 95 plus 110, that is 200, 205 plus 50, 255 plus 55, that is 310. Again, so 95 plus 55, that is 150 plus 50, 200 plus 110, 310, is equal to 360. Now, addition property of equality, 360, addition property of equality, that will become negative 310. So negative 10x is equal to 360 minus 310, that is 50. Divide both side by 10, a negative 10, so our x is equal to 50 divided by negative 10, that is negative 5. 
So the value of x here is negative 5. So if we're going to substitute, this r measures negative 10 times negative 5, positive 50. So let us check. Uh, 95 plus 55, that is 150 plus 50, so this is 200. 200 plus 50, 250 plus 110, 360. So correct. X is equal to negative 5. And for our last letter C, find the measure angle XTY. So where is XTY? Okay, this will be T. X, T, Y. X, T, Y. This angle, or our central angle, X, T, Y. So measure. Okay, before. Before we can get the value of X, T, Y, angle X, T, Y, let us first find the value for X. So we know that central angle, this one is equal to its minor arc. So 50x is equal to 49x plus 1. This arc is equal to this arc. Now 50x minus 49x is equal to 1. So 50x minus 49, that is x is equal to 1. Since we have a value for x now, let us just substitute in our minor arc. So the measure of angle x, t, y is equal to 49 times 1, that is 49 plus 1, 50 degrees. Okay. The measure of angle x, t, y is 50 degrees. So that is the application of our central angle and arcs. Thank you for watching Senior Pablo TV. See you in our next lesson, the inscribed angles.